hey guys um before this video starts i just wanted to come and speak just a little bit i just wanted to say something like this whole experience in new orleans and this trip and this job that i have right now has been a, a true blessing to me like i just want to express how last year i was in a classroom like i was in a classroom and all my peers around me have all the schools they picked out. I'm the only one. All the teachers ask me, Shanka, what are you going to do? And Shanka, what college are you thinking about? And I don't know. I don't know. And I graduated. I graduated last year, still not knowing. Uh, still not in college and landed this amazing job. And I just want to say I'm working with one of the top companies in hair care and beauty. And I got to do hair at one of the biggest trade shows in the hair industry. And I just want to say how much of a blessing and how much you have to trust in God and your plan that everything is going to work out the way it needs to work out because it just wasn't my time. Like, your time will come. So I'm going to let the video play. I'm going to show you guys my trip, my experience, and everything. I'm going to just say it now to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. In me So we boarded the flight, it will air coat over here. Yeah. Let's see what mess we gotta get into now. And we are all for the flight. I gotta get somewhere while I can speak because I don't wanna speak too much. to tie my hair because this new Louisiana weather is no joke. turn up on my head because makeup and we made it to new orleans i didn't even get a chance to talk to you guys for real but we made it here um i got off the plane hot as fuck over here like it's really really hot um for y'all that don't know i'm working Bronner brothers joint right now uh the hair show and got off the plane took an uber here with my luggage and we're setting up right now, so that's something. You see, everybody, you see, everybody is like doing their own thing. I literally left the house at 3, 3 a.m., got to work at 3.30, got to the airport at 4 a.m., went through TSA, got on the plane at 6, took off at 6, 30. You see, like, my lashes already coming off, like, this heat is different, y'all. This heat is different. I haven't even checked in at the hotel. I haven't even checked in. And I'm, I've been up since like 3 a.m. in the morning. And it is 12 right now. Anyway, guys, you already see. I'm just being pulled in so many different directions. We're working. As you can see, I have to take my last vlog. It's getting a little too real. I mean, it still is getting real. I got the pimple coming up right now. It's hot. My makeup is sweating. My under eyes. I don't even know if they crease, and they probably go on. Nothing more to crease right now. But yeah, my other girls 
school. The other girls I came with are here. They're also helping to set up. Everybody's working. 12.43 right now. I'm tired. But I'm gonna keep you guys updated throughout the rest of the day, what happens, you know, we're gonna go out later tonight. So, you know, keep you guys updated. So not only am I helping Evan set up, I am also helping Tropic Owl set up. So, you know, go shop them, get your hair growing. That would help my hair grow. We're not gonna get too much into that. Man, my day is slowly coming to an end. We're throwing away these boxes. Most of everything is set up. We're getting the stage set up too. So we're gonna get that cleaned off. This is the stage area. So yeah, I'm gonna continue and keep you guys updated. So we up on stage and this is what it's starting to look like. Not too much going on over here, but the Brown and Brothers stage is looking real cute, real, <laughs> real nice. So this is when I finally made it back to the hotel room. I got to do my makeup, take a shower. This is what the room looked like. And this is what I wore this night. I didn't really get a chance to speak this night. Uh, this is what the room looked like. Nothing crazy. The pool also, nothing crazy. Okay, so after I got dressed, we all went out to Korean barbecue. And this is the drink that a lot of the Koreans at my job be drinking. And they were taking shots of this. And this was gonna be messed up. <laughs> This is getting me messed up because this drink tastes, these shots taste like straight up water, y'all. It tasted like water. And I don't even drink like that, you know? This is the food that they have. And I couldn't even tell you what we ate there. But at this restaurant, we had to cook for ourselves. So if y'all know me, y'all know I'm not a big, big in the kitchen. I'm really not. <laughs> Um, so this is when we made it back to the hotel. This was a little patio section in the back of the hotel. This was not cute, this was not cute. So after Korean barbecue, uh, me and some of the girls all went out to Bourbon Street this night. Everyone looked mad cute. So this was Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street was mad ghetto to me, like for real. I can't believe that people really traveled to come here. I had got drinks from this slush place, it was mad good. Um, you got this homeless guy sitting here with the sign that says crack, don't grow on trees. Good night. Here's my girl, Tammy. She looks so good. That's Tammy Webb. This is Imani Lux. Y'all, I've never been so close to my coworkers. Like, like, I really love them. I really do. So this is us walking. You see the cars inching up as you walk across the street? Like, what is this? I had jello shots here, but look what, look what Bourbon Street gets you. Anyway, I wrapped up my night here around 1 a.m. And now I'm going to show you guys the show. ready to set up. So at this point, I made it to the show and this is our MC, Renata, right here. And I'm getting her ready. I'm prepping her, uh, doing her eyeshadow, eyebrows. She already had a foundation face. So she wanted like a purple, smoky eye type of look. So that's what I gave her. This was so fun. It was like amazing working with her. She has like her own podcast and stuff like that, which is also amazing. Like I love being around other women who like are bosses and have their own, you know, their own shits going on. I love that. Especially being around black women who are bosses. This is how the makeup turned out and here you can't see this is a little mist i was spraying egyptian diamond to finish off this beautiful look
Christmas to braid the ponytail. But to smooth the hair, she used the edge tamer. So our very first raffle, excited raffle, um, is our edge tamer collection. Are you ready? You have to get a video for you, baby. Okay, so this was my model. Her name is Faith. And huge shout out to her. Like, the vibe was so good. Like, everything came out so nice. I really, like, trusted my instinct when it came to this style because I only had two hours to do it. And I was like, if I gotta get it done, am I gonna get it done? But I did it. So, the show is over. Um, the wig is changed. And... The outfit is changed too. I went from, you know, business, you know, business baddie to baddie. Um, so yeah, we're going to this restaurant called Dragon Seafood. So we're going to see what that's about. It's like a 45 minute wait, but we chilling, everyone's here. Yeah. So this is the restaurant. Um, three out of 10 food wasn't that great. The only thing that was great was my drink, which was a hurricane. And I had seafood gumbo, trash, customer service, trash. <laughs> we had to, we were in this restaurant for three hours, y'all, waiting on our food. Like, nah, it was crazy. Hey, y'all, it is day three in New Orleans. We are working the floor. Getting everything settled, the models are coming in, the makeup is giving. So yeah, I got my models coming in too. Can't wait to show you guys more and more and more. So this is my second day of doing Renata's makeup. We did a brown base and then a gold in like her crease area. It was real cute, it was real cute. And it was live for day two of Bronner Brothers. Like, look at the crowd standing around. Imani, uh, she does wigs, so she's doing um, a wig install, which her hair came out so fire. It came out so bomb. And this was different models walking around. And look at Kaleidoscope come through. Nah, that's amazing. We have the extremely talented Nasheka Daly. Ms. Daly is a content creator, hairstylist, makeup artist, model, and YouTuber. She has many talents. And if you were here yesterday, you saw her whip together six stitch braids so fast using our braid formula. So she's back today with the braid formula. And she's creating a Bantu style on our beautiful model, Yasmin. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Nasheka! Nasheka, tell us, how are you starting off this Bantu style? 
going to start with this style by starting out on section. So we're going to start with the corn roll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I didn't speak about this for day one. This talking on the stage was so nerve-wracking for me. Like, this is so out of my comfort zone, but I'm so happy I got the experience. And this is my model, Yasmin. She was amazing, y'all. She is so dope. She's um, an artist, a singer. Like, she's amazing. But um, I can't wait for you guys to see how this look came out. Like, I'm so proud of myself. So this is the night time. We went to a hair battle. So the opening act for the show was the girl, where you going? Nah, it was those guys. Everybody was getting lit. And then we have the first stylist come out and his theme was he was telling his story um, about becoming who he is through hair. So it was amazing to watch. Definitely a great job. Um, this is my favorite look right here. That red was so bomb. And this was our hostess. She was on Legendary. Um, she's so beautiful in real life. So this was a part of the second stylist. This was her lineup of models and amazing. The outfits, amazing. So creative. So creative. This was Cliff. I'm not a fan of Cliff anymore after I met him in person. He's very like... I don't know if he's shy or something, but like he was kind of rude when I went up to talk to him. Um, again, this was the host. This was the third stylist. This was his lineup of models. Amazing, amazing. The outfits, the makeup, the hair, the dances. This, everyone at the show thought this was going to win. I also did when he set the hair on fire, and this was amazing. This was amazing, but then. We saw him and this is the fourth and he's cutting hair hanging from the ceiling y'all hanging from the ceiling and he won he won and it was well deserved like everyone did amazing i can't even like imagine the preparation and the budget for this kind of show but this was truly amazing and it was amazing to watch too and just be there to experience it and we are on to our last day here uh, today, so we're running sales today, so we're having 50% off everything. Our lashes are a dollar. You know, it was just an amazing experience being here. So as I said, this is the last day and I got to meet Yanky, y'all. Oh my God. <laughs> and one more thing, she's really, really nice. Like she gave us hugs at the end. Like she's not like how you would think celebrities would act, you know? And I made it to the airport. This is such an amazing experience. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I have more to come. Thank you.